this is Seed Brick Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a review of my custom Lego Batman Clayface, which is the biggest custom I've ever made, and it is a big figure, and it was made out of a knockoff Red Hulk. So let me move the uh, camera a little forward. Uh, that should be good. So I'll start off with the legs. Oh, and uh, when I was making this, I just sort of, like, covered certain uh, areas with blue tack and clay. Oh, um, and the hair was removable. So, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, one second. Sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, I just sort of covered certain areas with, like, blue tack and clay. Then I painted it. And, uh... Yeah, this is pretty much a full day of just painting. Sorry if you hear barking in the background, that's our dog. And, um, yeah. And the paint I used was sort of, like, clumpy, and it made, like, a bunch of, like, weird little ripples and lines, which was pretty, actually kind of good for this figure. And, uh, yeah, there you can see the face, which was entirely custom painted. With the yellow eyes and the mouth, which I sort of shaped weird. And, uh, yeah, so here's one of the arms where you can see on the hand and on the arm there's little bits of, uh, blue tack and, like, clay. And something I did unique with my clay face is, uh, I put on, like, this piece of plywood and, uh, that up there to sort of simulate like he's emerged out of the ground and a few things like stuck to his body and uh actually i believe this is the piece of plywood i used so that's neat and uh if i turn around to the back there's the back of the feet oh and underneath here is the sort of all painted as well and uh i filled in a lot of areas with like clay and stuff and um up here, this is like a toothpick that I painted, and it there's some blue tack on it to simulate like a metal pipe or something. And here's the other arm with a bit of clay and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much about it, but if you give me one second. So, as you can see, I made an extra hand for him, which is a hammer, which actually makes him quite front heavy. And, uh, the base of this was just a few, like, Lego pieces. There you can see the squareness of part of one. And, uh, the rest was pretty much blue tack, including these little side bits. And the top is, in, is like, blue tack, sculpted around, like, a blue, one of those round pieces. And he's falling off. And he can also kind of use it as a shield. So that's pretty much it for my custom Lego clay face. I'm pretty proud of this figure. Let me know what you think in the comments, and goodbye.